Oh, welcome back to V2 Gaming. My name is Volgrasa, and today is Thursday, which means there's been an update. Update 1.052 to be exact. And what do we have on our goodies list today? Well, let's find out. Okay, we have Assembler Cooperation, Volumetric Explosions, Welder Settings to Help Others, Antenna Broadcasting On and Off by pressing the O key. Uh, default world size is now 20 kilometers. I think I'm only going to mention that here because uh, that's just really unimportant to the whole video. So also, arc, arc furnaces can now refine nickel and cobalt. More things to be efficiently refined. <laughs> that's fantastic. All right, let's let's look at that first. Let's look at the uh, that one. Okay, let's jump back in my body, and I do happen to have some ore on me. And we're going to do the explosions last because I got a special surprise uh, right around that corner there and uh, it's uh, going to be awesome. Okay. So, um, oops, kind of helps if I select. There we go. Okay, you can see that these things uh, process. If I was to put uh, iron there, iron processes really, really fast. It's pretty much already done. Um, wow, that was quick. Okay, and noisy. Good God. Let me fix that really quick. Uh, yep. Yeah. Sound. All right. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. So now that that's fixed, um, we're gonna do the production here. Now the assemblers um, have cooperative mode, and that basically means that instead of having to say you want a whole bunch of plates and you want to have them produce all at once, before you would have to set this assembler, then set this assembler, then set that assembler, and set this assembler. Oh my god, time consuming. Now, you just have one assembler, and you can set it to be on a cooperative mode or not. If it is unchecked here, it means that it is a master. If it is checked, it means it's a helper, it will help. So, with that in mind, um, let's uh, queue up some plates. Okay, now also you can queue up multiple items. So we'll select our master builder here. You can queue up multiple items and the uh, thingy here should uh, start processing them all. Now the other helpers should already start uh, producing things. You can see they're picking different random different things uh, to help build with. And they'll build the entire queue or help you build the entire queue. So it's gonna make uh, pr production in survival mode so much easier because if all you want some plates then all the other helpers will build only plates too and of course we'll share the resources as well that is fantastic all right so moving on to our very next thing we have um, uh, the the welders here the big ship welders or, or, or ship welding that has what's called a helper option. But before I jump into that, I would like to discuss uh, something that uh, in creative mode, which I think could be a toggleable, uh, you know, like a setting. So you go into creative mode, and let's say you want to uh, have an adventure map with different uh, parts of a ship in different build states. There's no way to place an object in, an, in a different build state. It's either complete or it's at the very beginning of the build state. If there was a way to toggle build states on, you could then go into your G menu, right click an object, and select the four different build states, if it has four build states, or three, however many build states, you can select between the different finished product. I think that would be freaking amazing. Don't you guys? Yeah, leave a thumbs up if you think that would be freaking awesome. All right, so T, we go in, okay? And we'll just put our tools on the hot bar real quick. And if we press K, we'll see that the welders, uh, uh, welders have a new option called Help Others. Now, this basically means that if someone has placed a block on their ship and they own the ship, and you weld this, it normally before, when you welded the computer layer, that block would now become yours, and then you have to go through the tedious part of actually transferring it back to somebody else. That's a pain in the butt. Now, when you build it, if you have help others, it now is, you don't own the block at all. It's whoever owns the ship block or the block itself. 
So you don't have to worry about changing ownership, and that is so very handy. All right, so let's just hop out here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, looking at my list here, and it looks like we're at antenna broadcasting. All right, so let me demonstrate something real quick. I'll set this antenna over here to be owned by myself. Okay, there we go. Yep, that's fine. All right, now normally in uh, regular mode, I, I, my antenna turned on, I can select this and this platform if I really wanted to and make changes to the different thing. But if I press O, I can turn broadcasting off. Now I become invisible to uh, to the antennas. The sensors cannot pick me up because my antenna is turned off. So I can pretty much stealth my way in and survey, look at something without anybody seeing my player name or anything. I could be completely stealth. Now the drawback is you, while you're in that stealth mode, uh, you cannot interact with that that antenna. So that antenna over there that's owned by myself, which actually is that one right there, I cannot interact with. So if I press inventory, and you can see that it's just me. I cannot activate that thing, but I can turn back on my broadcasting, and sure enough, there it is again. All right, so are you guys excited for the last thing, stuff exploding? Look at this. This ship was built uh, using my modular ship design workshop mod. Uh, it is made out of a bunch of different parts. It has, you know, some some you know good things and bad things about it, but I mostly good. You can build a ship like this. It took me 15 minutes. If you were to build this thing from scratch, uh, it would take hours, hours and hours. But this is real quick. It looks really badass. It's very simplistic, and I love it a lot. Uh, I should have put more gravity on here, but you know what? Eh, I don't care because this ship is amazing. So we'll just get on board here and fly up to the command chair. Ah, oh, yes. Are you ready for some explosions? Oh, no, I am. All right. So let's put our weapons on our toolbar here. And you can you can see here that I'm aiming at that ship. All right, now there's a, on the right hand side, the right dots are aiming at that engine bay. And if I were to fire this off, and also they fixed the, the uh, missiles to where they don't freaking explode when they exit the pipes anymore. It, it's handy. <laughs> and hopefully there won't be too many glitches and we can do regular combat again. Now armor now, it absorbs the explosion. It's now volumetric, which means if there's armor in the way, it's not going to go past it. It's going to protect those internal systems. So before you could shoot at a ship and it, you would just be left with an empty husk. Not very conducive to having long drawn out fights, or, you know, dog fighting or even LSG's uh, league that they wanted to do. That wouldn't work out really good at all. Um, anyway, so as you can see, I've pounded away at this thing a lot and you can see that engine bay is not being that engine is not being destroyed oh there we go we got it that time but i mean it took it took a while that means longer fights and that means more interesting things that's going to be fantastic so you will now have to use tactical your ta best tactical judgment you're going to want to shoot exposed areas uh to you know to take out components um you're going to want to find good ways to penetrate armor really quickly so you can get to the subsystems because now you can't just expect the explosion to penetrate all the way through all the armor and destroy the subsystems below. So let's take a look at that. Let's see how that did. It took a good beating here, but it's, you know, held up pretty good. Most of that stuff on the other side is still intact, even though that is not, and it uh, looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah it, it uh, did its job and protected the stuff around it. Wow, all right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I'd like to thank you all for coming by and uh, exploring the update with me and checking out this really awesome ship. If you would like this, you know, leave a comment in the, in the, uh, in the comments below and I will upload it to the workshop world. Uh, come up with a name, come up with a name for this ship and I will call it that, and I will upload the blueprint for this to the workshop world for you guys. The best, uh, the best commenting name uh, that I that I pick gets it, and uh, I will uh, I will let you know. So thank you again for coming by.
And as always, be good.